Hi guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video I want to talk about what lens you could use or maybe should use for your next portrait shooting. What is important when shooting a portrait? It's important to catch the best proportion of the person and to catch the essence of a person. Who is this person? You don't have much time as a photographer. I mean, you get to know the person. Sometimes you have time for a coffee or maybe you talk for a little bit or you know the client from somewhere else and sometimes you know them better. But in most cases, you won't have that much connection or time to spend with your client. So it's important to know your subject in that moment as good as possible. But when it comes down to lenses, I hear many different opinions. In today's video, I want to discuss the 35 millimeter, a 50 millimeter, 85 millimeter, and higher even 130 millimeter for example. Let's talk about 35 millimeters. I think that lens is not very good for taking portraits because the distortion is just too high. And when you get too close, the distortion is even higher, but when you are far away, you get so much background and all the stuff that is going on around the target. So for me, this is more for a lifestyle thing because when taking a portrait, I want to see the face as the main focus. The more background I got on the picture, the more I risk that the attention will be gone somewhere else instead of only the face and the expression and the emotion on the picture. Let's talk about 50 millimeters. 50 millimeters is like the nifty 50, I think Peter McKinnon said. The all-rounder lens, I think. Some, some prefer 35 millimeters as a all-rounder lens, but for me personally, it's also the 50 millimeter. I can take it anywhere and I can shoot, well, most of the stuff with it. Interior photography is, you need very, very wide lenses. So 50 millimeter for portraits, well, it's okay. That's my answer, it's okay. It's not perfect, but it's also not very good. So when I started being a photographer, I mostly used the 50 millimeters, but Looking back now, I think, oh well, but if you have the option of another lens, please choose another lens because on 50 millimeters you have some kind of distortion still, but there's a difference to the 35. When I have more distance to the model, I will catch some background, but not too much. And also depends on what aperture you use. I always say shoot the widest open you can because I love it. And I always try to motivate people to shoot as wide open 1.4, 1.2, 1.8 maybe, because this gives a portrait such a smooth and artistic style. I really love this. And with the 50 millimeters, you can, you can just be a little bit far away and still have background in it, but the background is mostly blurred if you show, shoot wide open. And the background is kind of, it connects with the model or with the portrait. It's not with the 35 that you have so much background that it can be confusing or can, be, can lead the attention to the background with the 50 millimeters i think this is like a soft spot where you can do it because it can be part of the face or of the portrait when you don't have another lens a 50 millimeters i think is fine for portraits now we come to the lens that is my personal favorite the 85 millimeters and i tell you why some people say oh no 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 you need to take for a perfect portrait you need to take 130 120 120, 130, whatever. But for me, 85 is the perfect lens for a portrait. There is nearly to no distortion. And now comes my point that I think is very, very important. You are not too far away from the person you are shooting. Most people you will shoot in your career are not professional models. Of course, you will work with professional models, but most of the time, these are normal people. What I think is really important for taking a port portrait is being close to your subject. Because when your model is not experienced so much, it helps a lot that you give the model a kind of safety, a kind of one-on-one -on -one that you have with the person. When I shoot with a 120 millimeter lens or 130, I'm so far away 
and the model feels like it's it's alone it's left alone and you when you talk to the model you also have to shout a little bit to give instructions but when i'm with 85 i have that a little bit distance but not too much i'm sitting there and or i'm standing of course and i have that connection to the model still and i can talk in a normal way and i kind of have that intimacy with the model for taking a great portrait and i can have nice conversations and i can be there for the model this is so important for shooting or working with people that are not professional models my absolute favorite lens at the moment for taking portraits is the samyang 85 1.4 it's it's a lens for my canon r5 and i'm working with this lens for about one year i guess maybe a little bit more and i love this lens it's it's affordable i think it was 800 euros or 900 euros i'm not sure by talking about favorite lenses before this when i started with my 5d mark IV, i started with a sigma well this was not my first 50 millimeters but this was my first absolutely loved lens is the 50 millimeters sigma art and is it has this adapter here for um, my canon r5 it makes it pretty pretty big but i still sometimes work with it and i still love it i would not use it for a daily on a daily basis because they are not very practical because like i said they are pretty heavy but they they do amazing pictures i still love to shoot with them i'm so waiting for sigma to bring out lenses for the r system and sigma this is my shout out please work on that i've read some some rumors that they are working on this so i hope so this is one of my all-time favorite lenses and this is my yes my two babies so let's let's move on and i um, also said this that when you shoot higher than 85 i think personally from my experience as a photographer you are too far away from your model your subject of course there, there's no distortion but for me it's not working out for me a portrait is an intimate situation if you take it seriously it's i need to see i'm that kind of photographer you know i have i'm not always looking like this through my camera the whole time no i'm just sitting there with my model or whatever and i i talk to them and i look at the face because i think that's so important some photographers forget to look at the face of the person they only see a face through you know through the camera but i also want to see a face and how the light shapes the face and then i shoot and that's so important for me and like i said with with a lens of 120 130 i'm so far away i couldn't even see the details of the face or what the face is doing what what is the emotion i want to see in the face or how the emotion is created i want to create a specific atmosphere and for me it just doesn't work out with a lens that yeah that, that I, when i have to be too far away so my recommendation is uh, a 50 millimeters if you don't can afford another lens or if you don't want to have another lens and my absolute favorite is an 85 for portraits 1.4 1.2 that's perfect and yeah that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video